Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Intersections. I'm your host Doc Lammons and on today's show uh, we'll be highlighting local agencies that, uh, that help family and children in the community. Uh, right now we have April Spear and uh, what's your title? Uh, I'm the Executive Director of Children and Family Connection. Okay and the Children and Family Connection um, we're going to just go through a little bit of what they do and what services they offer to the community. Um, today though, before we get into that, uh, uh, this is uh, the Friday before Christmas and um, right now we're in the middle of Operation Make Christmas Happen. Uh, the local realtors and other uh, organizations in the community and uh, members of the community have reached out uh, to some of the agencies we're going to be highlighting today and have provided uh, a Christmas for uh, the clients of uh, different agencies in the community. Um, First of all, tell us a little bit about that, and then we'll get into your mission statement and, and what you do. Okay. Um, but tell us a little bit about uh, how Operation Make Christmas Happen has uh, uh, helped your clients, and uh, uh, kind of go into that a little bit. Okay. Yes, well, uh, Operation Make Christmas Happen, this is actually the third year that we have partnered with the, the realtors uh, to provide these um, wonderful gifts and food items for uh, our clients. Um, you know, basically, uh, we have, we pick out certain families that we have worked with throughout uh, the, the year that um, are struggling, going through some type of crisis, and that need some type of assistance, you know, providing uh, Christmas for their children. Um, and so we, we get with the family and we have them make a wish list. Um, um, of what their child uh, wants and uh, needs for Christmas. And then uh, you know, we uh, get with the realtors and the realtors do all the shopping. And uh, they are wonderful shoppers. Um, they really know how to uh, you know, go through the list and you know, really get what the children um, need. And it's such a joy when the families come in you know, and see um, you know, the wonderful gifts and the uh, wonderful display of food um, that is provided for them. And it's not just, uh, you mentioned food, it's not just toys, it's uh, food, clothing, mm -hmm. really the things they need. Uh, exactly. some, of these, some of these children have never been out to eat in a restaurant. Uh, part of uh, what was given was, were gift cards right. to a local buffet restaurant so they can go get a good holiday meal for the entire family, it wasn't just for the kids. Um, also clothing. Um, exactly. Am I right? Some of these some of these children might even only have one pair of, uh, of 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 a shirt and pants. Is that correct? Exactly. And they may have never had any new clothes. They may have had hand me downs, you know, from a brother or a sister, or um, you know, they just don't have the opportunity to go out and shop for new clothes, uh, you know, the way that the family you know would like. So this is a great opportunity for them to be able to have something new, you know, that is all their own. And uh, again, April, thanks for being with us and taking the time to be on camera. Uh, now, tell us a little bit about the mission of the Children and Family Connection and, uh, and, and, and what your role here is a in the community as an agency. Okay. Yes, Children and Family Connection, uh, we're a family resource center. Um, and what that means is that uh, we're here for the community. Uh, we serve uh, all residents of Russell County. Um, we provide all different types of services uh, for the family. Um, we provide concrete services, you know, such as food, um, clothing, um, and we also, um, you know, uh, provide uh, legal services. Uh, we have a partnership with Legal Services of Alabama, um, and all a client would need to do to access that service um, would be to call, you know, and make an appointment um, and to see the attorney. Um, but we take our services one step further with our clients. You know, they may come in, you know, for food or use assistance uh, with a utility bill, um, but we don't stop it there. Uh, we try to provide that service, you know, give them some food and give them a referral for the utility assistance, but we also try to do a, a case management component with the client, you know, which means we try to help them identify goals, you know, so they can uh, work to improve uh, their life, whether it's to go back to school, maybe get a job, um, get a different job or get a better job or, you know, earn a more advanced degree. Um, and we help them develop a plan to do that. And then uh, we, we're with them all the way as they go through the steps of of achieving that goal, you know, and then when they accomplish that goal, um, you know, we, we don't really completely end our relationship with them. Uh, we're still here to provide support, um, you know, if they need it in the future. So it's an ongoing relationship. Great. Um, if there's a, a, a family in need, um, 
can you tell us how to get in touch with you, uh, your address and contact information, that sort of thing? Sure. Uh, we're located at 910 13th Street. Um, that's in Phoenix City. Uh, we're right next door to Synovus Bank. Um, and our phone number is 334-448-1010. Uh, um, the only service that a client would need an appointment for would be the, the legal aid services. Um, and the number that I just gave, uh, that would be the number to call and schedule an appointment for that. Um, but all our other services are on a walk-in basis um, during our regular hours. And we're open uh, Monday through Thursday uh, from 9 to 5, and then on Wednesdays from 9 to 12. Um, and we're closed on Fridays. Well, great. Uh, and another important thing, uh, I think, is not just how does, do, do clients get in touch with you, but uh, I imagine um, those in the community wanting to help, not just at Christmas time, but year round, uh, can they get in touch with you at the same, uh, same numbers and also kind of expand on what, you, what, what needs you have from the community and, and how somebody might help? Okay, sure. Um, yes, uh, you know, anyone who is wanting to help either uh, to make a donation or to volunteer uh, time can call um, at the number that was given, 334-448-1010, you know, or you can just come into our office at 910 13th Street, you know, and tell us the way that you would like to help. Um, you know, and we, at different times of the year, we have, uh, you know, a need for different types of, of volunteers. Um, like this time of year, you know, we needed help, uh, you know, with, with our partnership, you know, with the realtors pulling the, the Christmas, um, you know, project together. Um, and then we also did a project uh, just at Thanksgiving where we assisted uh, 30 families with Thanksgiving baskets. And we had uh, a number of volunteers in here helping us put together uh, the baskets for those families. Um, and we do, we accept donations of food um, throughout the year. Um, another big need that uh, our clients present with is they need uh, toiletries, um, diapers for their children. So that is something that we would accept uh, year round. Um, and then also even cash donations um, because we can take those and, and use those to buy things, you know, that we don't get readily in donations, you know, to, uh, to assist the families with. Well, great, April. Again, thanks for your time and thanks for all the information. And everybody out there viewing, remember, this is a, a year-round mission for the Children and Family Connection. And reach out to April if you'd like to help uh, families in your own community um, uh, with their needs year-round. Um, and uh, stay tuned for the next, uh, next agency review and some more uh, pictures of Operation Make Christmas Happen. Thank you. Santa come to the library today. During story hour. Well, it's just like magic for the kids. I love seeing Santa and giving them their Christmas list. And it's a lot of fun. And it's a tradition. And uh, tell me, what is your, what, what, do you get enjoyment seeing the kids going up to Santa Claus and them telling them what they want for Christmas and just taking pictures with them? I do, it's like you get to look through their little window. They still believe in magic, you know. As we all should. Because <laughs> you never know where Santa Claus is or when he's watching. That's true. That's true. Just waking up Christmas Day, being so excited to get to my presents. Not being able to go to sleep because you're so nervous about Santa coming that you just, your stomach just 
heart because you, you're scared, but you're nervous, but you're excited. And just all of a sudden you wake up the next morning just like that. I remember getting my Easy Bake Oven. That was my big Christmas. If I ask someone to ask you your personal questions, what do y'all think of Santa Claus? Uh, I came in today. What, He's what not a boss. Hey, y'all be a, good now. I hear y'all talking about me. He's a great <laughs> dancer, <laughs> but he drives too fast. And he's golfing. <laughs> so, are you saying that Santa has actually been kind of naughty this year? Not hey, so much nice? I would Mrs. Say, Paul oh, might need yeah. to get <laughs> You hear that, Santa? They're, they're saying that you're on the naughty list this year. What do you have to say about that? Hey, if I'm going to be bad, I'm going to be good at it. Welcome to another segment of Intersections. I'm your host, Doc Lamons. I'm, I'm here, standing here with B. Wallace, who's the 2019 president-elect for the East Alabama Board of Realtors. And today, again, it's the Friday before Christmas, mm -hmm. and this is the culmination of Operation Make Christmas Happen. Uh, first of all, B., um, as a realtor and an active participant in Team Realtor, uh, tell us a little bit, what is Team Realtor? Team Realtor is the community outreach for the real estate agents in, in the Phoenix City area, for East Alabama actually, and uh, we get together and we do things for our community. Well, that's great, and of course, this is the uh, the, the the biggest program of the year that mm -hmm. that the realtors do for the community. Um, Tell us how many kids this year, how many families are being helped? Right now we have 48 kids that we're helping and 21 families. And we, we go out and we do things for them for Christmas. We do the shopping, we give them gifts, we actually even do food. Wow. And uh, uh, including all that, but before all the, the shopping and, purch and purchasing of the items uh, uh, happen, there's a big fundraising drive too, right? Oh, oh yes, we do. We do um, things like uh, low country boils. We do all kinds of things in the community that gains us, you know, that we ask the community to give donations and we take that money and we just transfer it directly over to the families by shopping for them, by, you know, buying them gifts for Christmas. Right, and uh, uh, I'm sure uh, you're very ecstatic about this year raising over twelve thousand dollars and that twelve thousand came from from all over the community right yes it came from various organizations various individuals like the exchange club and a few others they all got together and gave us donations and even individuals gave donations Right, and uh, some local companies too. I know Goodwill Industries donated yes, uh, 15 mm -hmm. $20 gift cards to shop at, at the Goodwill stores. Uh, Golden Corral donated a bunch of buffets. They did, they did. Yeah. So it kind we of also did. had, um, I think it was Shoe City Correct. that yeah. donated shoes to us. And, you know, so it was a community effort. It wasn't just us, but they, we, were the, we were the vehicle in between the community and the people in need. Right. Well, great. And um, uh, next year, I guess if anybody watching the show wants to uh, uh, donate or help out with Operation Make mm -hmm. Christmas Happen, can they just, uh, how to, I guess, contact you, the Board of Realtors? How does that work? They can contact the East Alabama Board of Realtors, and um, anyone here will be glad to take in the donation. Any yeah. team realtor member will be glad to do it. Right. Well, great. And... Um, uh, thanks for all you do and team, all Team Realtor does, and uh, thanks for uh, coming on air with us today to talk a little bit about it, B. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Welcome back to Intersections. I'm your host, Doc Lamons, and today we are highlighting local agencies that uh, help uh, those in the community that are in need. Um, this is the Friday before... Christmas and uh, the Board of Realtors is sponsoring Operation Make Christmas Happen to 
help a lot of the agencies this time of year that, that really have uh, large needs. Uh, today, joining me is Janie Potts uh, with the Crisis Center of Russell County. Uh, Janie, first of all, tell us a little bit about your organization, your mission, and what you do in the community. Um, thank you, Chris. We can't do um, what we do without people like the Board of Realtors, and with me is um, also Shelby Stanton. We are the only um, shelter for domestic violence victims and rape crisis victims in Russell County. So we have a shelter, and um, unfortunately we get full quite often um, with victims of domestic violence. Um, and tell us if, if, if those, there are those in the community watching this show that would possibly need your services, how would they reach out and, and utilize your services? All they would need to do is call our hotline. And that's 334-297-4401. And um, they can call at any time. We're 24-7 open. Um, if you even need to just talk, you, you know, and, and try to decide what you want to do, uh, just give us a call. And you have, uh, uh, on the other end of the line, when, when uh, someone in need uh, reaches out to you, you have trained professionals, correct, that, will, that, that, that are specifically trained to take those calls, right? Can you expand on that a little bit? Sure. We have um, hotline uh, people that live at the, work at the shelter. They have been trained through the state. And um, we also have victims advocates that are trained that can help counsel and kind of, you know, we don't tell people what to do, but we can give them suggestions or we can, you know, tell them this is your, these are your options. So, you know, we don't tell people what to do. We try to empower these um, domestic violence victims because most of the time when they come into us, they are so beaten down, um, maybe not just physically, but mentally, and they're tired. And it's just a, a hard battle to get out of. It's kind of like a big cycle you know and so we try to empower them uh, there are so many things that we can help them with clothing we have a Macy's of Phoenix City um, we get them counseling professional professional counseling if they need it we have um, you know the advocates that go to court with them we get the medical care we just try to to get them back on their feet again we help them with housing their resumes um, get them jobs you know we, we do a lot at the shelter and one once they leave our shelter, we have an outreach program that we just hold their hands and keep, you know, keep them tight by us. But they're they're kind of like our little birds that fly out of the nest, you know, and we and we watch them grow as a human being and get back on their feet with their children. Well, great. Um, we we discussed a little bit about. Um, those in the community that might utilize your services and, uh, and, and how you uh, interact with them. Tell us a little bit about, because this is a year-round need. I know this is the Friday before Christmas, and um, uh, you're getting a lot of community support mm -hmm. um, uh, providing for your families that are currently in the shelter. Yeah. If there's somebody in town, a business individual, who would, would like to contribute either time monetarily can go into the different ways that they could contribute mm -hmm. and uh, again year-round right Correct. We're always looking for volunteers to come and help at the shelter. We do run a volunteer training so that if you would like to answer the phones, um, we can, you know, train you as far as what you need to do. But all you need to do is call our office. It's 334-297-4435. Mm -hmm. And um, they can just say, hey, I want to help. Or, hey, I want to drop off a gift card from, you know, one of the local grocery stores. Because when we have you know, 12 children in our shelter, we go through milk and cereal and eggs and all that fairly quickly. So, and they, we don't charge the people that come to us a dime. Everything is, you know, free when they come to our shelter. Um, so we, we need the community support all year round. Right. And um, that includes, uh, you mentioned uh, it, it, it's families that come in. So yes. everything from diapers, to clothing, to everything you'll accept, correct? As, as well as monetary donations. 
Well, right now we've kind of put a little hold on clothing because we've gotten such a, a wonderful outpouring in the community. So always call and ask us because, you know, we'll start um, accepting the clothing again. But we go through cleaning products and, um, you know, the diapers and, you know, people need shampoo and body wash and deodorant and all of that. And believe it or not, we do get meals um, that have had issues as well. And so so, um, you know, we can't keep them at the shelter, but we have a hotel, an agreement with the hotel locally here that we can house them if they're in any type of danger as well. But we take all kinds of items, cleaning, d detergent, uh, you know, people have to wash their clothes. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll all year round. Well, thanks for everything you do uh, in the community, and it, it provides a great service. Um, and it's not just for Phoenix City, right? It's all of Russell County, all the way down to Hertzburg, Hatchachubby, yes. Fort mm -hmm. Mitchell. Yes, it's all Russell County, and I try to get out as much as I can to the different areas to let them know that we are here for them 24-7. You know, there's someone at our shelter at all times, and the hotline's um, open at all times. The rape crisis is the same as the hotline, and we're, we're there 24-7. And you do... Um uh, community outreach and uh, education also, mm -hmm. right? Will you tell us a little bit about that, that project? Shelby is our um, preventative educator, and if you want to tell them the, the different things you do at the school. Yeah, sure. Um, what I do is I go in through grades K through 12th, and sometimes college, just depending, and we do different programs that are designed um, to help people not be, just be aware of their surroundings and be aware of bullying and how it might affect you, and also when you get older, just safe dates, and you know, if you're in a dating relationship, you know, the things to be aware of and red flags and stuff like that. Right, because a lot of the behavior starts at a young age, correct? Yeah. And and continues into uh, later years and mm -hmm. adulthood. Mm -hmm. So th mm -hmm. this is part of the prevention program to stop that. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, what is an abuser? A big bully. So we kind of teach kids at a young age, like make sure people keep their hands to themselves. You know, if they're being bossy, that's a form of bullying, things like that. So right. we try uh, the youngest, better, you know, possible. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, great. And now that we've uh, we've highlighted the agency, kind of told everybody what you guys do, mm -hmm. uh, again, it's the Friday before Christmas, and this is the annual Operation Make Christmas Happen. Uh, the, the realtors have gotten together. There's been a overwhelming community support, not just through the realtors. The r realtors are <laughs> sort of quarterbacking this thing, but will you tell us a little bit about how this program has helped this year and in the past um, for the families in the shelter this time of year and, and how many do you have in in the shelter right now well um the community and the outpouring from uh, team realtors is just it's unbelievable if you really think about the situations these um and i'm going to say mothers because that's who's at our shelter they are leaving an abusive relationship and they're coming with their children and they have been through trauma and it's just been horrific for them and to not have to worry they don't have money most of the time. They don't have things for their children. A lot of times when they come to our um, shelter, they have nothing but what they're wearing. And to receive gifts for their children for Christmas is just unbelievable. And um, like I said, right now, I think we have about six or seven families in our shelter with children that would have nothing um, but, you know, a few little presents. And um, Make Christmas Happen just really, really makes Christmas happen for these people. It, you just can't, uh, we can't thank you all enough. And there's no words to express how much that we appreciate it. Well, great. Well, thanks a lot for being on the show and agreeing to, uh, to be on the air. And um, anyway, everybody out there, uh, have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next time on Intersections. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas.